Peace be with you and welcome back to my channel for another video, another spiritual download. If this is your first time coming to my channel, I say thank you and welcome. You're more than welcome to like, share, subscribe, uh, whatever you feel that your spirit is guiding you to do. But if you came across my channel, nine times out of 10, spirit does have a message for you. There's a 99.9% .9 chance that there is a message here for you. I encourage you to pray. Um, sit with your spirit guide so that you know what messages are for you and what's not for you. Please leave those messages out. Save yourself some time and energy. Do not force any situation to fit your situation. Okay. With that being said, let's go ahead and get into the uh, message. Divine ancestors of the highest white light, only of the highest white light. Protect me and put a shield of protection around me and the watchers of this video so that they know what messages are for them and what's not. We leave that for somebody else to take. This is going to be a general love energy check. Ooh, a lot of people getting proposals. A lot of people have love options. A lot of people are getting proposals. Uh, I always like to tell people, you got more than one soulmate. You got more than one twin flame. The biggest misconception for the people that are on the twin flame journey is that there's only one person for you, which is not the truth, right? We all know that. Show me what I need to see, Holy Spirit, Divine Ancestors of the Highest White Light. I do have a card that fell, and I'm going to get that here shortly. Yeah, I told you, love is in the air, air, air. This is a general love check. So as you love more on yourself, as you fall in love with yourself, um, you you naturally will attract the person that is for you, okay? Because some people are like, is this my person? Is that my person? Anybody can be your person based on who you are. So if you're vibrating at a high vibration, then naturally you're going to attract somebody that's going to be on that same frequency. Um, I always say that if you're doing the right thing, you don't have to worry about what people know about you. Again, this is about walking in truth. So the lover's card is here, which lets me know love is in the air, air, air. We got a whole bunch of options. <laughs> we got a whole bunch of people that want a new beginning with you, okay? Um, you might have had to walk away from situations that were no longer serving you. Just on a spiritual level, um, you are walking right into wish fulfillment. This is beautiful energy, actually. So Spirit is saying, take your time with your uh, choices. Now, the Eight of Cups is here because I believe this represents the past and you walking towards new love is how I feel. Um, with the new beginning here, the Ace of Pentacles, the helping hand of God. So this is financial, spiritual um, abundance, just yeah, I just see a lot of abundance. And this is after a transformation. Again, you might have had to walk away from people, places, and things, lovers, ex-friends that just weren't serving you. But this new energy that you're walking into with this new beginning is beautiful. A lot of proposals on the table. A lot of people are really feeling that love energy. Yeah, new friendships. Again, some of these situations from the past that you've walked away from, they do want you to feel trapped. They do want you to feel held back. A lot of third-party situations, but you're coming up very psychic and very caring. Again, we can have a fire sign embody this energy or anybody can, but this is Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio energy, okay? Doesn't mean that you have to be. It just means that it's an energy that you're embodying, which really represents intuition, okay? So needless to say, let's go ahead and get into the reading. Yeah, I can't make this stuff up. You're going to have a lot of different choices. Do you want to go left? Do you want to go right? What is it that you want to do? Um, a lot of marriage in the air, air, air. <laughs> a lot of soulmate energy. A lot of, uh, yeah, I can't make it up. Marriage is in the air. Spirit is saying that based on where you are um, and what you represent, this is what you're going to attract in your lover. I always tell people you don't really have to um, stress about a lot when you're walking in truth. You don't have to dig. You don't have to spy. You don't have to take the phone. Check. That'll drive you crazy. Okay. Don't do that to yourself. Spirit is saying, be strong in your newfound self. Because when you're walking in truth, the truth is simply just revealed to you. And that means being honest in private and in public, right? Walking in that truth in its totality. So six of cups, this is definitely past offers from the past. Um, I don't believe that you're even considering those things just because you've evolved to such a level that you're very protective. Yeah, you're going towards wish fulfillment. Um, this is a wonderful spiritual awakening too on top of all of that. Needless to say, let's go ahead and finish the reading. Divine ancestors of the highest white light, only of the highest white light. Show me what I need to see. Yeah, this is a spirit of saying, be patient. 
A lot of you want certain things like right away. I can't make this up. This is you looking to take a leap of faith and somebody wanting to take a leap of faith with you. People want to be in divine unions. They want to be married. They want to be happy. Spirit is saying these things are coming, okay? The more you decide to work on yourself, your business, your overall energy and just who you are, um, these things are going to come in and flow for you quite naturally. It is a slow moving energy. This reminds me of the idea, slow and steady wins the race. Slow and steady. Spirit is saying, call on the, the law of forgiveness too. Okay, for these people that put you in third party situations, call on the law of forgiveness. Okay, forgive them, but move forward. You have so much good stuff here that I promise you, you're going to love like you've never been hurt. Okay, yeah, a lot of spiritual protection, um, a lot of needing to get out of your head. Sometimes we overthink things and they're very simple. You know, this is you looking to go in a new direction. Spirit is saying a lot of you are falling in love with yourself which is actually the right way to do it. You're falling in love with yourself, you know, and then you can offer that and extend that to another human being that you're deciding to get through love with. Marriage is not to be taken lightly, you know. Marriage is a, a, a lifetime commitment. It's saying, hey, I'm deciding to be with you and get through life. Yeah, the star represents wish fulfillment. A lot of you um, will be doing collaboration work, spiritual work with your partner, which really represents the divine union, um, which is beautiful. You're embodying a very playful and fun energy, you know, but very committed, not a non-committal energy. And then you have your wish fulfillment, nine of cups. This is beautiful. Somebody has really got it going on out here. Like love wise, this is absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Spirit is saying, leave the past behind. Yeah. I don't even think you're looking at the past. I'm going to be honest. This is fully healed, loving energy. Somebody's made it past something from the past that they're just letting go period yeah yeah they're letting go of this energy so the more you decide to just you know um get into that sacred contract with the most high a lot of abundance on the table you guys could be working on businesses or something like that yeah spirit is saying there's going to be a victory there's going to be a victory in this Somebody is burning a better business candle, a love candle. Yeah, Spirit is saying really embody the energy of what it feels like to have um, your counterpart in your life love you. Even if that person is not there yet, you have to make a space for them in your life. You're also meeting your soul tribe, people that understand your soul, people that understand your spirit. Yeah, equal give and take. This is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. After a really tough cycle, spirit is saying, after feeling mentally en entrapped in situations that maybe you thought you couldn't get out of, you have new friendships, new love, new money, new businesses, and you have great offers. The seven of cups accompanied with the 10 of pentacles reminds me of great contractual offers. That could be marriage. That could be business. That could be uh, some of you want to buy a new house. Spirit is saying whatever it is, it's coming in fast. Now, here's the thing. The nine of pentacles is slow and steady runs the race. This represents you making sure that you do the work. That's what this represents. Making sure that you do the work in order to have like, like, oh God, how do I want to say this? Uh, because we are such spiritual beings, we can get addicted to being in that higher realm. We have to stay grounded. There are things in the world that you have to do in order to make these things, you know, come forth. I can't just pray for a million dollars and never play the lottery. <laughs> I can't just pray for a lover, but I never go out of my house. Does that make sense? Right. So when you get up, you set those intentions. You get up to dress for success. You get up and you go to bed to be dressed for success. Okay. Smell good. Look good. Make a space for your partner. Even if they're not in that space, just they will, they will gravitate to that because of who you are. We attract. We don't chase. There you go. We attract. We do not chase. Overall love energy for the collective. This is beautiful. Some of y'all going to be really making some love. It's going to be a lot of babies made tonight. Lord, and they all going to be Scorpios. Jeez, Larissa. Ooh, my goodness. Sailing to calmer waters. This is you. This is you. You're really going to a calmer place. People are thinking like, is that person's peace really peace? You are getting to a peaceful place. You have to get your rest. I'm talking to myself too. <laughs> I'm 
I'm not exempt from learning from these lessons, okay? The King of Swords is a sharp, intellectual, business person, business-minded. Spirit is saying this fell on the Nine of Cups uh, next to the Fool taking a leap of faith. So make sure you read the fine print in all contracts, be it business, marriage, whatever. Read the fine print before you just sign your name. Yeah, you're coming out of, uh, yeah, you're coming out of a time of betrayal. Listen, I would not, I would not accept anything from the past. And I'm going to be honest, as beautiful as this energy is, this lets me know that somebody has done the spiritual work. Somebody has grown to the capacity where they had to forgive in times that they did not want to forgive. Does that make any sense? Who am I talking to? <laughs> Who am I talking to? Myself? Talking to my doggone self? Because <laughs> this is beautiful. Yeah. Ooh. And I can't make it up, y'all. I try to. I try to. Spirit is saying get some rest. Okay, get some rest. You like, but but I can't. Yeah. You got the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords right here. This is a divine counterpart. Two highly intellectual people who are committed to one another, divinely protected in everything that they touch. Everything they touch turns to gold. That means house, business, everything. And then you have the high priestess, which is this is you representing you following your intuition, right? That means that your third eye is open, 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 open. You understand me? Like all of what it is that you're drawing to yourself is going to happen. Once you reach this status, there's really not too much that can knock you off your throne. You've made it through several cycles of pain, betrayal, third party situations. Yeah, this is your past. If you were wondering, not that you care, because why would you? You have all of this beautiful energy here, all of this abundance, all of this, you know, uh, yeah, spirit is saying stick to itiveness. Stay consistent. You know, you're in a new energy, a new body, a new mind. Uh, just, you know, watch your thoughts because right now we're so sensitive to thoughts. We're so sensitive to energy, right? That we have to be mindful of every single thought. It gives off a vibration. And with things manifesting as quickly as they are, this abundance, you know, it's the same if we go back to that energy, walk away from it, continue to keep going. You see these cups, they're empty. This is why this person is not even looking back because these people had fair chances. Now you got divine love, divine beginning. Somebody getting pregnant tonight and I, I don't know who it is, but you getting pregnant. <laughs> yes. Spirit is saying, leave these people behind. You have to leave people out in the cold and that's okay. This new love is so good. I promise you, you will not feel as though you've ever been hurt. Whew, this is some good energy. I will tell you that though. This is some really good energy. I don't even really know what else to say about it. I cannot make this stuff up, y'all. Communication is coming in. Communication is coming in from a whole bunch of people. You need to be very selective with your energy at this time because with this level of abundance, you need to guard this with your life like it is the golden child of your entire existence because it is. You got communication coming in, good, bad, and indifferent. This is the star. This is you shining bright. This is my, this represents Aquarius. You don't have to be Aquarius, but this is definitely something that lets me know that things are going in your, in your, for your good. Like you could be an overnight success. Some of you want to start podcasts. Some, listen, your gift, the world needs it now more than ever. If you're a public speaker, if you're a life coach, if you're a Reiki healer, we need you more now. Ain't no more chances. Ain't no more time. This is it. We're in it. Welcome to the future. We're in the future, period. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I was hitting something. But listen, yeah, the star, you're the star. This energy, y'all, this is beautiful. Y'all are manifesting, co-creating. Like this has inspired me. Like to know that this is the overall energy of the collective. This is absolutely beautiful. Communication keep coming up. I don't know. The past, the people, the present. I don't know. But all I know is that where you're going, you got equal give and take. I'm telling you, my cards do not lie. Holy Spirit. These cards are dedicated to you, Most High. Show us what else you need the collective to see. It is only by way of you that I do it. Then I just tell y'all, see, my God is funny. 
this this is what let me tell you, let me tell you how, let me show you what's here you see these two cards now this just popped out y'all watched me let me tell you how funny our god is the most high okay this is i'm gonna put this one down this is what i just told you at the bottom of the deck and i shuffled the deck okay and it still came out spirit is like can you hear me now can you hear me now this means that you have communication coming in from all which way but loose. This could be business offers, business deals. Hence the fact that you need to put your king of swords and your queen of swords on. Put your thinking cap on and read the fine print. Period. You got offers, love offers, business offers, money, grants, loan. Some of you just... <laughs> and you know why it's so funny? Because this came out too. Okay? Spirit is saying what I'm saying is the mother freaking truth so help me holy spirit Woo! this is a good read some of you could be getting good news within three days 72 hours period equal give and take i'm here to let you know people from the past are in their mind about it because they can see too and they're in deep regret we do not care but that energy keeps trying to pop itself in because you're on the good end of karma I mean, you are so lucky right now. If you put a dollar in a slot machine, you're going to hit it big. If you hit it big, don't forget about me. <laughs> I'm so serious. Y'all got the keys. Holy Spirit. I dedicate my cards to you. Show us more. Thank you for these messages, Divine. Thank you for allowing me to channel my energy to help the collective. Yeah, you got some people from the past, okay, that want to come in and out. Now they want to party with you. Now they want to be with you. Listen, let me tell you something. You know what this energy is. You know what it was. That's what you walked away from. If you're wondering if that's the person, no, it's not. If you're wondering if they changed, no, they haven't. Let them go. You got the land of milk and honey here. Spirit is saying, be strong. When communication comes in from these people trying to act like they change, be strong, be wise. You understand what I'm saying? Be strong and make sure that you stay in this energy. Whatever you need to do to protect this energy. Look, I just picked up the cards and look what fell out. The doggone king of pentacles. I can't play with y'all. You are the cat's meow and the mother freaking dog's bow wow. <laughs> Yeah, you got people that want to collaborate with you. You got people that want to do business with you. It, if they're friends, family, I don't care. Business is business. Put it in writing. Documentation beats conversation. If it's not in writing, it never happened. Read the fine print. I just keep hearing spirit because you got pentacle, king of pentacles, ace of pentacles, ten of pentacles. Uh, <laughs> what do you want me to say? Uh, nine of pentacles, ten of cups. Come on. The lovers, you're going to be loving and winning too, collective. <laughs> oh, most high, use me for your good. Oh, what do you want them to know, honey? Oh, some more pentacles. I'm not even pulling that card. <laughs> what is it? Good news about money coming in. Oh, my God. This is so beautiful. Pentacle, pentacle. I just keep pulling pentacles, pentacles. That's money. Because you have, let me tell you something. You have the spirit. You have the good character to maintain such a blessing. You have made it through many of tests and the universe is like, okay, here you go. God says, here you go. Everything that you need. You never needed to work that hard. All you needed to do was step into your passion. You never needed to work over work. All you needed to do was answer the call and be obedient. Period. Period. This is what it is. Oh, I love it. This is this is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. The past is, listen, some of y'all can't believe it. <laughs> You're taking control of your life. The past is still trying to creep in. Their energy is here too. Didn't I tell you you don't have the victory? This is my victory card. This is this is you having the victory after being in this energy. <laughs> you couldn't even imagine it when you were in that abusive relationship. Toxic. And that does not always mean somebody putting their hands on you. This means mental abuse, psychological abuse, being patient with partners who took too long to wake up that you had to walk away. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to put this all together. Let's get real with ourselves. Because when you're walking in truth, you have to tell yourself the truth, whether you're around people or you're not. Hee <laughs> hee. Let's go.
this is this is not even something you could have imagined. This is the energy of the people and the past you. They're reaching for who you used to be. You're like, I didn't have a death, a transformation, and a rebirth. What are you talking about? I'm taking my life by the mother freaking balls and doing what I got to do. Period. Ain't nobody got time for none of nothing else. You know, everybody want to tap into your energy. Spirit is saying they can't sit at the table with you. They can't eat off of your abundance. Protect your energy. Protect it. Yeah, you're moving forward. This landed right on top of the eight of wands. These are people that want to hold you back from moving forward, of which they cannot anymore because you're not allowing it. Nine of wands, protect yourself. That means if you see a text message, if you answer it, you're feeding that energy. Be a good, bad, or indifferent. Protect your energy. Answering a phone call could change your whole life, mess up your whole day. If you've done that before, play it out. You already know if you answer the phone exactly what they're going to say because it's predictable. They do the same thing all the time. They're still in that toxic energy and they refuse to heal. Do not take the call. Why would you? Why? You got all this right here. You got a brand new beginning. That's the helping hand of the most high. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? What's in that cup? What's in your cup? What's in my cup? Abundance, money, wealth, spiritual wealth. Because what good is money if my health and my spirit are lacking? There has to be balance because you're coming up as the empress. Show me what else I need to see, Holy Spirit. Just use me to help somebody. I pray that this message reaches everybody that it needs to. And I'm serious. Listen, if I pull one more pentacle, y'all better send me at least a dollar. <laughs> when you hit it big, could you emotionally balanced and you're just co-creating with the universe? When you, did I tell you, did I try to tell you pentacles, money, pentacles, wealth, inheritance, legacy? This is your chance to leave a legacy. How many more pentacles do you want me to pull before this? Okay, spirit. The money is coming. The money is coming. The love is coming. Or it's here already. Either this is happening right now or it will happen in the near future. And I'm talking less than 30 days. I am not even playing with you. This is some real deal holy field kind of energy. Pentacle, pentacle, pentacle. I'm like, God, this is the overall energy of the collective. Your money candle that you're burning on your altar. I see you, boo. Write your name in it, boo. Write your petition underneath it, boo. Better business. But while you're praying for those things in the physical realm, material realm, right? Because we need those things to start our nonprofit organizations to help people, to feed the homeless. What will you do with your pentacles? You can only buy so many shoes. Right. We can't take it with us. We ain't going to make it out alive. So the Holy Spirit is testing what you're going to do, because remember, when you were in that relationship, what you told God you were going to do, if you just get me out of this and now you're out and now you're free and now you're looking good. Pentacle, 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 pentacle. What? And all your cups. Look, at these are options, but all of them are full with gifts. These are empty cups. These are filled with gifts. <laughs> These are empty. Like what? Oh my God. This is going to happen. I feel it. $62,500. I don't know where that came from. It's just a number that came out the sky. I claim it. If y'all don't want to take it, I'll take it. Leave the money on the table. <laughs> oh my God. What? I'm done. That's it. <laughs> Can you see that? Three of pentacles. This is collaborations. This is business partners. This is money, contracts, contracts. Who am I talking to out here in these collective spiritual streets? Seven of pentacles. Past investments. What does this mean? This don't always mean money. This could have been you just investing in, in other people. And now you're cashing in your good karma. Talk, 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 talk. Listen, collective. This is the message. I don't even know if I need to pull nothing else. <laughs> People finally get back in your life. They spy in. What do y'all want to know? They spy in. They under judgment. They're in deep regret. The end. Listen, this energy is so good. You all are manifesting so beautifully. Extend your services to people that you know need it. You have so much abundance on this board. That your enemies literally have to shut their mouths. Not that we're preoccupied with them. Do not look back. 
We all have free will. I can't tell you what to do. I got to pull another card because I'm just nosy like that. Holy Spirit, anything else that you want the collective to know? Uh, Spirit is saying, move in silence. Keep doing the self-work. Keep looking at yourself. Keep going within so you don't have to go without. Virgo energy. Virgo, the virgin. Purity. Cleansing. Because where you're going, your character and your demeanor have to level up to such wealth. We have to come up to the expectation of what the Most High wants from us. Most High ain't got to come down to us. We're already under mercy and grace. Good news about money. I don't know who I'm talking to. I know I'm talking to me. I'll take it. But this again is the collective. Lord, am I? I'm supposed to stop the reading. I can't stop. I just, the message is getting too good. Holy Spirit, fill the room. Show us anything else, Spirit. Spirit is like, no, you nosy. Spirit, listen, these two cards for me is telling me this. The hermit and the moon move in silence. Move in silence. Do not post. Do not brag. Do not boast. Do not answer calls from people that want to know, how you doing? What's going on? How you feeling? Do not do your best to move in silence. That right there in itself is a gem when it comes to your character. You understand what I mean? When it comes to your character, you're showing the most high that you know what? You, me, and God know. Holy Spirit, I know. God, you know. Huh? I know. Move in silence. Move in silence. Protect this. Guard it. Protect your wealth. Set your boundaries. Change your number. Block whomever, whatever, wherever, whenever, and let it go. Do not. These people that are trying to call you, they want to call to argue, go back and forth to bring down your vibration. Do not fall for that trick. How many times have you gone through that? You know why I know that? And I'm done after this. And I promise you I am. But it got so good. It got magically delicious even. You're the magician. Hello. Hey, hi, and hello. Spirit don't lie. I encourage you to pray about this message and decide what information you want to take and what you don't. When you represent the truth, you ain't got to worry about lying to people. You are the magician. You are the alchemist. You can control the entire environment. Get ready for the work. Get rested. Do those things for yourself that you need to do. And I'm talking to myself included. You're the alchemist. <sighs> this was beautiful. I'm just going to, when I stop this video, I'm just going to thank the most high for what's to come to, for all of us. Because we need, we need things to get to where we're going. We need money to help other people. You know, sow into somebody's ministry. Sow into somebody. It doesn't have to be a lot. It's the intention that you have. This is why I only charge a dollar. You think I care about a dollar? I pay, I pray for people for free. Why? Because that's my past investment. And now it's cashing. I'm cashing it out. Sometimes you tithe in time. You don't always have to tithe in money. You can tithe in service, tithe in listening to somebody and helping them work out an issue. You're tithing because you're giving something of yourself. It could be your spirit. It could be uh, uh, advice. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's looking real good. That's the message. I love you. I love you. I promise I do. I love you for free. Wherever you are on the planet, I hope that this message finds you on time. It is a timeless reading. So whenever you get the message, you're supposed to. With that being said, until the next video, peace be with you.